Hi everyone, I am back again with this week's project life process video. You will have to bear with me this week because I'm just getting over a really nasty cold. I went back to work in a school and children are germy. So you'll probably be able to hear in my voice that it's still suffering a little bit. But anyway, uh, this video is documenting March of 2020, the first part of March anyway. Um, but it's primarily documenting a hospital trip that I unfortunately had at the beginning of March. For those who don't know, I have Crohn's disease and my medication caused quite a rare complication at the beginning of this year. And I ended up um, being rushed to hospital after some blood tests. Uh, very poorly and was diagnosed eventually after a week in hospital with bone marrow suppress suppression. Um, my medication had basically stopped my bone marrow from working and I was very unwell and I'd been very unwell for quite a long time um, prior to this. So um, I just wanted to document some of these photos, even though they are not the nicest photos um, and it's not the happiest of memories. Um, I wanted to document what had happened. It's part of life. That's what Project Life is all about, documenting the highs and the lows of life. And um, yeah, this whole spread is kind of about that hospital trip and just after I came out of hospital. Um, so I've been yabbering away and I haven't even explained what I've been doing, but I'm sure you can see what I've been doing. Um, but I'm just making a little journaling card here. Um, I've outlined around the edges and I'm using these old stamps to write wow. Um, those stamps, I love how messy they are. I'm not normally a messy person or a messy scrapbooker at all. I like sort of clean um, pages and ordered pages, but I love how messy those stamps are and I use them throughout this spread just as like a tying in element for each page. Um, and I've just journaled there about how you should always trust your instincts when it comes to your health and if uh, you keep getting no for an answer but you know that there is something wrong, keep pushing. Um, and what I'm actually going to do, I'll show you at the end where it'll sit in the album, but what I'm actually going to do is type up my full journaling um, on Word on my laptop and print it onto a piece of A4 cardstock um, and slot it into the album in between these pages because this was such a terrifying time in my life and I want it to be fully documented in my album um, and a few journaling cards are just not enough to document what happened. So um, I am going to write out a full page of journaling, which you will eventually see um, when I do my album flip through at the end of this year when I complete this album. Um, but I'm just moving on to um, some finishing touches. I decided to pop some washi tape underneath the little letter stickers that I had before and um, that spells out oh dear on there <laughs> because that is a bit how I felt when I ended up in hospital. I was too exhausted, too poorly to um, even think anything other than oh dear, what's, what's going to happen now? Um, so I just thought that was quite funny to have those words on that uh, photo. I did feel like they were kind of floating though and I wanted to add something else so I went through my wood veneer and I found a little wood veneer arrow and I um, just added that onto the picture there, onto the collage and I thought that finished it off. So now I'm moving on to the other side of that 6x12 insert and I have this card from Simple Stories. I think the collection was called Bad Day or something like that and I have a couple of them left. And I just thought that that how about no was quite funny and the um the large black font tied in quite nicely with the stamp set that I had been using of those letters on the previous page. And like I said, I use those stamps throughout each of these um, spreads to keep it cohesive. So I felt like that would tie it all in quite nicely as well. Um, and I've just stuck that down and I'm deciding what I want to use um, to embellish that layout. And I use another wood veneer arrow, some washi tape, and then I found a word sticker that says brave. And it's it doesn't always feel natural to big yourself up and say nice things about yourself. But I feel like um, the whole world has been through a lot this year, but um, I was already going through a lot before COVID was even a thing. And I do feel like I have been really brave this year and I was really brave when going through all of this. So I felt like it was an apt sticker. Um, I have my hospital band there and um, another little allergy band that I kept because I keep everything um, and I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do with them. So I ended up just sticking them down onto that card as they were um, and then I've turned them sideways and I'm going to use this stamp set again to spell out ugh <laughs> because that is how I felt just 
Ugh. Um, and again, I'm going to outline that card so that it matches the one on the previous page. And then I realized I hadn't used my stays on ink, so the stamps were not drying properly, but it's fine. It, it ended up okay in the end. Um, I found another one of those little word stickers that says it's complicated because it really was complicated. So again, I thought that was quite apt. And then I'm using these puffy stickers that say thanks. And then there's one with an arrow um, because I was moved to my own room on a really wonderful ward um, for the last couple of days of my hospital stay. And I was definitely thankful for that. It was much better. <laughs> So I finished that insert now and I'll show you um, how that all looks fully together at the end. But I'm moving on to the 12 by 12 page um, of this layout about my hospital stay. And I'm just putting together a journaling card for that top left. Um, I've used those stamps again and I've put freedom or not <laughs> and then stamped the date underneath. Um, and I come back and journal on that at the end once the ink has all dried. But basically the reason I chose that title was because I came out of hospital on March the 16th and I was so grateful to be out. I was so grateful for freedom. I was basically sent home because COVID-19 had hit the hospital um, and at the time we knew that it was going to be a problem um, and after speaking to doctors and nurses in the hospital we knew it was going to be a problem but um, I thought that I would just have to go home and isolate. I had no idea that just a few short days later the entire UK would be in national lockdown um, so that's why I used the freedom or not <laughs> title there. Um, I'm just using some embellishments on this photo of me and my mum we were so, so happy when she came to pick me up from the hospital and take me home. I was just overjoyed. Um, I don't do very well in medical situations, which is ridiculous seeing as I have a chronic illness. You'd think I would just get used to it, but I found my hospital stay really hard, emotionally really hard. Um, and I was just so grateful to go home. And it was Archie's birthday as well, my little dog, Archie. So I was so, so happy to get home to him and to Will and my own bed. Um, so we took some photos celebrating that I was going home. Um, and back then I was the only person wearing a mask. <laughs> um, as you can see, I've swapped some of my photos around just so that they looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And then I'm making um, a nice background for this meme to sit on. Um, back then, at the beginning of lockdown, memes were the comedy relief that we all needed um, and I thought this one talking about um, worrying about every little tickle in your throat was quite funny and um, so I just tore up some paper to have a nice sort of textured edge and made a background for that to sit on and now I'm just grabbing some letter stickers and spelling out lol on the top of that because it really did make me laugh I remember sending it to my mum and we thought it was so funny um, and obviously in hindsight none of this is funny at all we just didn't realize it was going to be as huge as it was um, but at the time it was funny and we all just needed that comedy relief and I've got another one there of Olaf um, from Frozen and it's sort of emulating the scene from Frozen 2 where he recaps um, the plot of the first film and um, it talks about Disney being closed because I remember when all the Disneyland parks closed we just couldn't believe it um, and I was just journaling about that that there how we all needed that comedic relief um, I've got these photos here of the bunnies because when I came out of hospital I was just recovering on the couch for a couple of weeks so I attempted to bond two of the bunnies together um, unfortunately it didn't work what's it just likes to bite <laughs> so they were very happy together for a little while and then once she got comfortable with him she just started biting him all the time and he did not like that I don't blame him um, so unfortunately it didn't work but I still wanted to include these cute photos anyway um, so I'm just adding some letter stickers to that one of what's it that say cutie and then I'm adding a label sticker to this one of them both together having a cuddle um, and I think I use some like tiny word stickers on that as well. One says dreaming and one says love you. Um, I use the dreaming one because they were both asleep. And now I'm going back to this journal card and just journaling about how I was hoping for freedom when I came out of hospital. But obviously we went into lockdown straight afterwards and how um, unexpected that was. But like I say, I am going to do that full page of journaling so I can go into everything in much more detail. Um... But I still feel like I do actually have a decent amount of um, journaling on this spread. And that's something I'm really trying to do more of in 2020. I want my writing on my pages. So here we go. This is how the finished pages look. We've got this insert here. That's the first side. And this is the second side. 
this really didn't take me very long at all and again it's so simple but I'm I'm just really glad that I've got this in the books and here is that second side I added some washi tape and tiny word stickers to that journaling card here is the middle section and then we've got the two four by sixes at the bottom. And then the next clip is me just showing you how this is all going to look in the album. So these are my discharge notes from the hospital. And I'm going to put my full page of journaling on the back of those. Obviously, it will be flipped in the album. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I will answer them in the comments below. See you next time.